I'll just say what we're all thinking. A high-profile Destined for Immortality film was released last week, and while I've heard your bleated requests for no spoilers, I can remain silent no longer. Jumanji does not feature so much as a frame of B.B. Newworth. In protest, I'm calling the movie Jumanji. Is your casting director allergic to talent? It was either that or shame on you, Manji. Enjoy the show. Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. Happy winter solstice. Happy holidays. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is everything you need to know. I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago about two and a half-ish years ago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. And it just happens to be winter solstice right now, which is kind of like Christmas on Earth. Guys, I need my co-host to help me really explain what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Chunt the Talking Badger. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy uh, Uh, Gundersh. White Christmas, W-I-G-H-T. Happy Gunderstein. Happy Shiftmas. Shiftmas. Uh, The shapeshifter mm -hmm, holiday. That only I can celebrate. Please don't involve yourself. Um, uh, Happy Pranza. What what is Pranza? Oh, Pranza is where we celebrate by eating prawns. Oh, that's really, you know, I really like that so many of the holidays are very literally named here. Mm -hmm. What else would Pranza be? Don't know. (laughs) Something clever? Yeah, absolutely. John, does it get exhausting that there are so many holidays just jam-packed into this time of year in Foon? No, I feel like it's joyous. I feel like it's, there's so many options that if at any point you're not enjoying the holiday you're currently celebrating, you can switch horses midstream. Oh, that is a metaphor I completely connect with. It's like channel surfing holidays. What is channel surfing? Oh. Like a body of water? Well, on my world, there's a thing called television. It's like a podcast, but it has a visual component. Oh, why don't we do that then? Um, That'd be so much cooler. Well, you know, I feel like people can't really watch TV shows while they're driving, or they shouldn't. And I really feel like if we're going to get the people on Earth to be listening to this podcast to help us discover the mysteries of the tavern, they need to be able to listen in their car. So you're saying this wouldn't translate to video? No, not at all. For a certain amount of money? (laughs) For enough money. Look, with enough production values, this could definitely translate to video. If you and found the right partners to help you, sure, uh, certainly it, it's not impossible to convert it in such a format. And uh, if you're out there listening, we're, we're happy to listen to what you have to say. <laughs> Absolutely. Whether you're the owner of a, of a cable network or a streaming service or a chain of art house movie theaters... I'm also joined by my other co-host, Usador, the I wizard. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical lights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Trakas, the elves know me as Fianyalic, the dwarves know me as Zonin and Hookstanges, and I am known in the northeast as Gasquanius Maystar, and there may be other such wonderful holiday names that if you were to utter them aloud, a beautiful snowfall would cover your town in a... Beautiful, perfect holiday feel. Holiday names. You know, user, I don't think I've ever done this. I don't think I've ever wanted to hear more of your names. But something about them being holiday names, I mean, I want to hear at least one. What's one of your holiday names? Oh, uh, Crip Cramble. Crip, Crip Cramble? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm known all over the Fing area as Crip Cramble. Oh, wow. Yes, I sneak into children's hovels at night, Mm -hmm. and I leave them one piece of candy, and then the next day I come and take it back. Oh, no. They have one day to eat that piece of candy, and if they don't eat it, I take it back. But what about your arch nemesis, Blood Bramble? (sighs) Nemesis is a strong word. Oh. We don't get along. Mm -hmm. We aren't speaking right now. She knows what she said. Oh. Do you know what she said? No. But she knows. She knows. I'm... I'm mad because I don't know, and she won't tell me. Yeah. John, when you were just a little badgie, what... Well, I wasn't a little badgie. I was 
I've taken many forms. Oh, that's true. Because I'm a shapeshifter, not a budget. As a child, what form were you most often, would you say? When you think of yourself as a child, when you get nostalgic for your childhood. Boy, 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 boy. Um, beep, boop, 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 like, like me, when I'm nostalgic for myself as a child, yeah. I imagine myself either in kind of like a 70s era Spider-Man tank top. What? Or. Spider-Man? In like 70s a. 70s era? Or like a t-shirt with like an iron-on print of my face that I got from a church. It's like he's in the wizard state. I don't understand yeah, what you're saying. J- you're just spewing gibberish. Crunch time. Crunch time. That Crunch time. I get and I love. I guess I would probably be most likely to think of me being a squirrel or some sort of bird, perhaps. Oh, Here, I Here, try a prawn. Oh. Mm. You sir, you want a prawn? Happy oh, pranza. Thank, thank you. I love pranza. You eat the prawn, and then what? you, you slam the, the tail, the discarded tail, on the table, and you say... Prawn afterlife immediately, and that makes sure that the prawn soul goes uh, somewhere oh. after. That's a, that's we got to protect those prawn souls, right? They yeah. die for our enjoyment. Oh, yeah. Happy prawns, Oh, I'm wanna... also known as Kring Brosby. Kring B- Bra- All of your holiday names are impossible for me to say, Usador. Well, that's because you have difficulty saying things aloud in the order that they're meant to be said. But that's all right. It's the holidays, and we're being kind to one another tonight. Uh, I, I have... I have a little gift for everyone. Oh, Chunt, for you. Give, 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 give. I have a rock. Ooh, mm. is it a magical rock? Oh, of course, it's yeah. a magical rock. This rock will make you feel as if you are ten feet tall. Damn, I'm walking tall. And Arnie, for you. Yeah. I have. Mm-hmm. Can you guess? Is it a rock? No. What? It's a new shirt. A new shirt? Yes. Oh, my God. This is great. Where did you even, how did you get a shirt? I went to the tailor. We have tailors in Foon. You've just been sitting in the same shirt for two and a half what? years. What? There were, I had other shirt options all this time? Don't you see the other patrons of the bar constantly wearing tunics and, and pantaloons? Now that you have a shirt, I'll get you a doublet next year to go nasty over boy. it. Nasty boy. All right. You've I, been a little bit of a nasty boy. I have been a little bit of a nasty boy. Which reminds me, it's time to celebrate Nastmas. Nastmas? Mm-hmm. What's Nastmas? It's where you um, celebrate all the nasty things you've done. Oh, wow. Is there like a figurehead? Like, is there a magical creature? Shaky that Stevens. Is Shaky Stevens? And does he have like a vehicle, like a NAS car that he drives around in? I don't know. He has a nast cart. Oh, I see. A nast cart. Mm-hmm. You could shorten it to car, but it would be nonsensical. Fair enough. It is weird how all the things you say are sensical, but the things I say are nonsensical. I got home field advantage. Guys, I'm already feeling a little bit claustrophobic. There's just something about the holidays. Like, I love them, but then uh, and I'm excited to spend time with my good close friends, but then immediately I'm like, oh, God, why? Like, the walls are closing in. Like, why am I spending so much time, like, celebrating this holiday with you guys? Well, then you should celebrate Levervim. Levervim? Levervim. What's Levervim? It's one of the most wonderful winter solstice holidays, where you cast a magical spell on yourself, where you fly high above the lands of Foon and look down upon them and just take in all the beautiful lights. Oh, that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. But you have to have magical abilities to celebrate it. Oh, yes. Oh. No, that doesn't mean you have to be... Innate magical properties. You certainly could take a floating potion or have a wizard or a sorcerer cast a spell on you to make you fly around Foon. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. Would you like me to cast a spell on you to make you fly around Foon? I don't trust you. <laughs> That's fair, that tracks. Wow. I, I mean, I love you, buddy. I love yeah. you. It's not like I don't... Look, it's not that I don't trust your motives. It's that I don't trust your abilities. Hmm, not better. Arnie, what? Will you tell us more about Love Actually? Please. You're right, guys. Please, 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 please. For listeners, this is something that's been happening off mic, but I have been instituting the 12 Days of Christmas here in Hog's Face, where every day I talk about another storyline from the wonderful tale of Love Actually. It's not even a whole sentence. It's true. It's true. Well, anyway, I know yesterday I told you the Liam Neeson storyline. Mm-hmm. But today you said he had a certain set of skills mm-hmm. that would make people like That's me. That's true. His, that he was trying to save his daughter, but his wife had died and he was trying to love again, but also catch the people that had kidnapped his daughter. Wow. I have to confess that I was channel surfing while watching uh, Love Actually, so I might not know the whole thing. There's that phrase again, channel surfing. Yeah. You haven't said it in a hundred some episodes, and now you're doubling down. I'm just thinking about it a lot. 
But you know what? I'm so excited to tell you today's Love Actually story, but is it just me? Or there's like this weird figure over in the corner of the tavern. Oh, that huge cloaked figure? Yeah, there's a big cloaked figure over there, Usador. Oh, I, I see it, yes. What is that big cloaked figure over in the corner? Uh, I'm not certain. I assume it's some sort of beast or monster. Nothing to worry about. Call him over. Hey, beast or monster. That's rude. Um, are you talking... Are you talking to us? Yeah. Oh, Shh. yes. Brother. Hey. Is he talking to us? That beast talking is to you. more than one person? Oh. It speaks in the royal we. No, oh. Not, are you talking to us? I'm yeah. Sorry. Get off of my shoulders. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Yes, oh, humans, shit, oh, bow shit. and be amazed, for you are in the presence of two... Great, Great blue, blue tigers. tigers! Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. What? Hello, I... Kring Brosby! Ah, Kring Brosby. I kneel before your greatness, oh, majestic tigers. I will allow you to scratch behind the ears and the cheeks, but not the tummy! No, yes. not the tummy, for that takes weeks to work up to. May um, I please grab you by your toe? Yes. Yes. <laughs> holler, holler! Ha! Happy holidays! Oh, and a happy holidays and a to happy you! Happy holidays to you! Well, I'm so excited to finally meet some great blue tigers. I feel like you're one of the first magical creatures that I heard tell about in the. Not when I... some great blue tigers. The only remaining two great blue tigers. That's right. For there once were three, but now there are only two. Yes, our sister Sapphire is with us no longer. She. Perished at makeout point, I believe, with <gasps> this shapeshifter. Oh, yeah. Oh, please do not recoil. Oh, no, assuage, Adorable badger. Assuage yourself of guilt, small shifting one. For our sister Sapphire could see the future. She knew exactly what she was getting into. She is the great blue tiger of the future. I am the great blue tiger of the past. And I am the great blue tiger of the present. Oh, thank you for letting me let go of that guilt. Uh, uh, yeah. That feels great. Did you have guilt? It looked like you just had fear that we were going to eat you, pounce on you, murder you. Yeah, I'm emotionally stunted, so I kind of uh, lump the two of them together. But yeah, I was mostly fearful of you, you know, exacting revenge. It is natural to be afraid of great and powerful magic. But I was here on my brother's shoulders under one trench coat because we wanted to hear the end of Love Actually. How does it end? How did the special set of skills become involved? Well, you know, guys, I mean, look, I can't skip ahead to all the storylines. And also, I've got to say, it's not about how it ends. It's about, like, all of the different stories collectively feeling like more than the sum of its parts. Because we've been talking, we have a guess as to how it ends. Oh, I would love to hear your guess. I, uh, by by the way, I should probably have introduced. We have both met Kring Brosby, of course. I am Azure. My name is Cerulean. And our sister, Sapphire. Oh, yeah. She's dead. She's dead. No longer with us. So, and as you're, you're the present tiger, Mm. Mm, Mm -hmm. and Cerulean, you're the past tiger. Yes, that's right, because our winter solstice holiday is Hagbum. And a happy Hagbum to you. And a happy Hagbum to you. A happy Hagbum to you. Oh, thank you, Kring Brosby. Thank you, Kring Brosby. Thank you for being here. I always thought they were saying humbug. No, no, Hagbum. 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 Yes. Is that the holiday where you celebrate a, a witch's ass? Oh, oh, a, hag- oh, a hag's bum. A hag's bum. No. No, no, no. That no. is the day after the winter solstice ends and everyone celebrates hag's bum, where you take all the gifts that you didn't like, but you are afraid to say, I don't like that gift, and you shove it up a hag's bum. Con- with consent. <laughs> you say, yes. hag, may I put this up your bum? Hag, come here. And if she doesn't come, then you summon her by magic. And then you say, now that we are face to face, hag, may I shove this up your bum? And she says, not if we're face to face. And then she turns about and she spins around. And she says, here is my bum, but I don't understand why you don't want that apron. And, and you I say, say, well, I have too many aprons. What? I only need one apron. Why would I ever need more than one apron? It gets dirty and you wash it. You shove it up the hag's bum. Then you anyway, shove that it up is the happy hag's bum. hag's bum. We celebrate That's hag's bum. Hag- I see. And the hag's totally into it, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. With consent. Yes. Very important. Very important. Totally into it, much like the primary minister in love actually is totally into his secretary. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of the storylines from Love Actually that I have explained. And I love the storyline about her getting okay with the way she looks. Yes. It is important to look upon yourself and think. My thighs aren't getting thick. The prime minister has a crush on me. 
Now, I, I do have to say, I, Arnie's been telling us these tales over these 12 days. And, uh, you know, they haven't aged well over these 12 days, honestly. Uh, some of them don't really hold up. Yes. Especially that Kira Knightley one. And I usually love the stories you tell us about her. Mm. I know. Well, can't wait till the 5th of November. Is that right? You, you want us to remember, remember the 5th of November? Yes, right, guys. The most important thing to take away is remember, remember the 5th of November. I don't remember why I'm supposed to remember it. Oh, a little fox just ran by. What a cute little guy. I'm so sorry we got really distracted. We really channel surfed to something else. What were you telling Three. us about Hagbum? Happy Hagbum to you. And a happy, happy Hagbum. Hagbum to you. Hagbum is when every winter solstice... We find a greedy businessman. And, and you help a greedy businessman. Hagbum. Ha- help a greedy businessman. It's an acronym holiday. Now we, the great blue tigers, have a stratagem that we employ to help the greedy businessman. First, my sister Cerulean comes to him in the night. And I show him his past, and I say, look upon this past with fresh eyes. See things you missed as you lived it a first time. And I come to him still in the night, but a little bit later in the night, and I say, look upon the present. Look upon that which is around you even now that you do not realize is happening. Happening. And then our sister Sapphire comes. And she would say, here is the future if you continue on this path. And it would give sort of the whole thing stakes and purpose. But that, she is gone now. It is less, oh, uh, it is less effective So now. Hagbum is not yeah, a she's super kind of a successful pretty, holiday. She's the impressive one, if you think about it. Aren't you? <laughs> That's rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nini, what did you say? <laughs> Just say, look, showing people their past is nice. And showing people the present is sort of like, I mean, everyone can do that. But I'm sorry, Nini, what leaked no. out of your mouth is absurd, because can you go to the past, and can you, in this moment, show your friend Chunt here all of the present that isn't in this room? Nini, you are being very ridiculous. Oh, I, I guess. I hmm, guess perhaps I... you are the greedy businessman we shall help. Mm, you have damn. two shirts. Two shirts? <laughs> what need you with this second shirt? Well, the old one has a stain on it. Oh, well, then you get rid of that shirt and have one good shirt. Yes, why this desire for more, Nini? Well, I don't, I look, I just got it as a gift. I, I guess I am running the Vermilion Minotaur now, so I, I kind of am a businessman. What are your profit margins? Well, we've made a big pile of coins and also a slightly smaller pile of, uh, like, uh, rubies, maybe? What are the red ones? Rubies? rubies. Yeah. Yeah, the red, the red, like, uh, they're not coins. They're like, uh, they come out of the earth. Gems. Maybe they're gems. And you were openly shilling for a TV deal earlier. It's true. Yeah, pandering. You're a real pander bear. Yes, That's for a true. while we thought, I don't understand what this has to do with the tale of love, actually, but we continue to listen anyway. <laughs> but, you know, uh, we have actually traveled here with our good friend, and perhaps it would help you, Nini, for us to sing you a traditional Hagum song. Oh, yeah. I love holiday songs. Mm-hmm. I would love to hear one. Have I ever mentioned that the Great Blue Tigers often travel with an accompanist? Because they do. We do. It is, his name is Lancelot. He is half lion, half ocelot. <laughs> he is a lesser cat, but magical in his own way, and incredibly adept at playing all sorts of keyed instruments. Lancelot, I'd love to want to hear what he's got to say. Lancelot. Oh, Lancelot, then never mind. Uh, yes, he goes wherever we go, so that we at any moment can sing a Hagbum song, a traveling song. Any sort of song. A song of greeting, a song of mourning. Song of fear, song of joy. Song of hey, let's put this in a song so we remember these facts for later. It'll make it easier to remember if they're in a song. Yes, educational music yes. spread throughout food. I love expositional songs. You know when Azure mentions that he can help you sing any song, you don't really need to list all the types of songs. It's, it's just, just say it's, any it's song. Sort of, sort of sketch all, say all songs. That's... An yes. excellent point. All songs. Unless there's like a, a song type or two that you're like, mm, we do not sing that type of song. Very true. Then you have to say all songs minus these two. Oh, yes. Mm. Well, we we do not sing songs in the shower. No, 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 no. Absurd. Absurd. <laughs> well, you're cats. You don't shower. That would be insane. And that's why we said it's absurd. When it showers, we yes. hide under the nearest tree. Do not put your rain of water upon our heads. No, no, no. Brr. Brr. 
Lo, if your rain doth begin to fall on these tigers, then you shall face the wrath of Usador, for I shall not allow one droplet of water to fall upon their heads. Yes, Kring Brosby. Thank you for your protection. Join us in our ever-ending crusade to be the death of all clouds. I shall! You guys, to remember this bit of information, you should come up with a song called Don't Let the Rain Fall Down on Me. Yes, we already have that we one. We have one. Would you like to oh. hear it? Oh, sure, yes. <laughs> Now we're doing the rain one first. <laughs> rain from the sky, my oh me, my oh my. Don't let it fall on her, don't let it fall on my fur. My oh my, I think I will die if one little drop gets on my head. So I said, don't let the rain fall on me. Don't let the rain fall on me. Don't let the rain fall on me. Any drop of water that I see, I say, don't let the rain fall on me. Kill all the clouds. <laughs> I forgot how many songs in Foon are anti-clown. Oh, yes, yes. This is You can find this in a collection song book of musical notes of several, several different songs about anti-cloud. And this is why Cerulean Azure and I and Sapphire originally became friends. Because what is the natural enemy of a bird? A cloud. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're saying clouds. I thought we were saying clowns. <laughs> Clouds. No, cl- well, cloud. that makes clouds. Clowns are just hardworking folk who are trying to spread merriment and joy. And if they're too scary, you can eat them in one big bite. Hum, 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 hum. And <laughs> rain doesn't come out of clouds. <laughs> well, that's what, I, that's what I was thinking. It's like that is know, very a, funny. A, a squirting a flower or something. Oh, very good chunk. Very good chunk. And maybe the tiger of uh, the past might be able to remember this because this is a bit of an oldie. Isn't there a song that's about like bring in the clowns, send in the clowns? Yes, that's what it was. But isn't it S E N D I N apostrophe? Yes, a group of clouds is called Ascendin. Oh, I see. Could I just hear a snippet of Ascendin the Clown? Sure. Aren't they wealthy? Aren't there too? A group of so many clowns. They're here for you. What's it called? Send in the clowns. Here are the clowns in a group for you. Yeah. Oh, that hit the spot. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very Try welcome. finding music like that on Earth, Arnie. Oh, good, good luck. Good, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. <laughs> we should actually spread the joy of Hagbum, though, since we're here. Yeah, I'm really, I mean, those songs were great, but not enough exposition for me. Oh, well, we are happy to oblige with a song full of exposition. Merry Hagbum, Merry Hagbum, Merry Hagbum to you. Merry Hagbum, Merry Hagbum, Merry Hagbum to you. From three great tigers of shades of blue. Merry Hagbum, Merry Hagbum to you. On this day, if you're good in health, if you are a businessman, please assess your wealth. If you are a businessman and feeling needy, you must assess the fact that you have gotten too greedy on this merry, merry hagbum, merry, merry hagbum, merry, merry hagbum to you. Merry, merry hagbum from these great tigers. There used to be three, and now there are two. In the night will save your soul When you hear a great big clock give a toll One from the past, Don't one from the present day. They say, Don't. change your ways this very day There used to be one who came from the future Now she's dead 
And so you, sir, will have to imagine what the future will bring. Do it all with this next part while we, we sing, sing about this Merry, Merry Hagbum. Merry, Merry Hagbum. Merry, Merry Hagbum to you. Merry, Merry Hagbum. Merry, Merry Hagbum. There used to be three, but now there are two. Now there are two left. The only two to walk the phone alone. To a brother and sister who walk phone as one. For they, they journey to become bolder. One standing on the other one's shoulder. And we don't mean to gloat, but we have the most fantastic trench coat on this merry, merry hagbum. Merry, merry hagbum. Merry, merry hagbum to you. Merry, merry hagbum. Merry, merry hagbum. There used to be three, but now there are two. Holy crap, that was amazing. Wonderful. Oh, so beautiful. thank you. I have to ask, uh, as incredible as that was, I can't help but feel that maybe you're not over me causing your sibling's death. Oh, oh. dear Chunt. Oh, dear Chunt. Dear Chunt. Tiny furry furry thing. No, 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 no. It's important for people to know that, yes, Hagbum has been, in a way, ruined forever, since we can no longer show a businessman the future. But, you know, you shouldn't have to see the future to realize that Perhaps you haven't been doing things very well, and you should change your way, so chunt, oh no, sweet, sweet chunt. Sweet, tiny, easily swallowable chunt. <laughs> there's, some, there's something that also you should know. Sapphire was the great blue tiger of the future. She knew full well when she went to she make out point okay. that there was okay, a chance just, that she might not make it out. Okay, I think you, I just wanted to Can you help me with something really in. quick? Yes, of course, um, and thank you for wiping away the tear on my eye with your claw. Of course. Can you... Can you count my teeth? Could you just be a deer and count them for me? Yeah, oh. just hop on in there and yeah. count those teeth. Easy peasy. Here we go. <laughs> Let me just uh, step on wait, in. Wait, 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 John. Are what? you sure you want to do this? Yeah, it's the least I could do. I feel like they could easily eat you. Well, yeah, but if they're going to do that, they just do it. They wouldn't be coy about it. Nini, we would just eat Chunt right now. We just wanted to honor him with the job of counting teeth so that we could sing... One of our favorite winter solstice tunes, Teeth Counting. That's right. Oh. And I don't think they can eat you if they don't know how many teeth they have. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, Kring. Very good. So crawl on into his mouth. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Uh. That one there, if you're feeling bolder, please count how many molars. Yes, count if you're feeling wiser. Make sure that I have both incisors. And count if you want to do it greater. How many decapitators? That's a kind of tooth that a blue tiger has. Count our teeth, teeth, if you please. Count our teeth, teeth, teeth. Count our teeth, if you please. Count our teeth, teeth, teeth. You're feeling cold on this night. Come a little closer, sir. I won't bite. <laughs> Please count, little sweet chunt. Do I have all the teeth in the front? And if you could count these, and if you hearken it, what I am saying, this is dull. Could you sharpen it? Take this little, little file right here and file my teeth. Yes, then count our teeth. If you please, count our teeth. If you please, count our teeth. If you please, teeth, teeth, teeth. How many? How many did you get, Chun? Um, I counted uh, 53. Ooh. Ooh. That's Wait, three more than last year. Congratulations! Congratulations to you, dear sister. Oh, would you care to celebrate your three bonus teeth with a prawn? Mm, yes. And a merry bronzer to you. And a merry bronzer to you. How... Oh, you can know. I get out? I'm so sorry. You're, you're getting prawn all over my fur. Can oh. I get out of your mouth? Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Cerulean, yes. Azure, mm. I must ask an important question. Mm -hmm. I know that no one can ever truly replace Sapphire, but have you thought about recruiting someone else to show people the future? Here's the thing, Kring. 
There is one entity that we know of that has mastery over space and time, aside from us. Ugh. And as you can imagine, we are not thrilled about the idea of employing his services. Hard pass. Hard pass on Can the Wizard. Oh, Can. He seems great. Oof. He's not. Nini, let me tell you something. Please, it's our camp. It, I'm sorry, what is it? Our camp. Our camp? Our camp? Well, that's not a name. That's That's a famous song about our camp in the middle of the street. Yeah. Our camp. Our camp. In the middle of the street. Our camp. That's there are not lots a name. of meats to eat. Yeah. Our camp. Guys, can I ask you a question? Of course. Please, Nini. Since your sister was horribly killed at Makeout Point. Was she? We weren't there. How exactly did it go down, Chunt? Uh, well, I um, respectfully asked out uh, Sapphire. Um, I, I want to let you know that I did not push her into it. Uh, this was not uh, a push based on the, the Tiger Sapphire. Um, we did uh, agree to go. And while we were in Makeout Point, of course, um, as you well know, um, because you must have some uh, uh, behind the curtain scenes into uh, how the magic works at Makeout Point, um, at the end of Makeout Point, you can decide whether you live, um, the, your partner lives. Um, or you both live, and I chose myself. But surely Sapphire could see the future. Yes. Yeah, as any predator would. You choose. I would choose myself. I would choose myself. Mm -hmm. huh. But did you see, does she just, poof, and now like, she's bones? Yeah, was it, or like, poof, and now, well, I mean, there was at least one bone, because you made the wish. Yes, was it, poof, into one bone, poof, a stack of bones, or, oh no, a long and terrible process to get to, poof, a bone. Um, I feel like there's a cliff involved, and at the bottom of the cliff there's a pile of bones, and then and then I was granted a wish upon those pile of bones. Chunt. I do want to let you know that, that that did not go to waste. I did wish for for always having at least two buttholes. So oh, wish. so you don't so, need to find a hag on hag's bum. No, exactly, exactly. That's nice. One for any, one for Addies. Well, naturally. Naturally. Chunt. Yes, ma'am. Have you not been to make out point? In some time. It's been a while. Because, you know, such a romantic time of year. Certainly, I feel like you could find a, a sweet little badger or, or celebrate shift moss into something else and find anything you please. No? Chunt, how are you? Uh, good. I'm very good. Yeah, I guess this is the time to maybe think about getting back out onto the field. Yes. Get into that field. Get into that field. Yeah, I guess I guess I will. Arnold, um, this may not be a thing that they have on Earth, but when you when you start dating it again, you get back into the field. Oh. There's a big field right outside of Hog's Face, and you go there and you just sort of hope that someone shows up who's as desperate as you are. Oh. And wow. there's pretty tall grass, so usually someone's gonna trip upon you and then it's like you kinda meet cute. Oh. Does that wow. make sense? No, oh, yeah, absolutely. It's very I, cute. It's very, very cute. You know, oh. that has me wondering, like, and again, I just love holiday songs. Are there any kind of sexy holiday songs? Finally, someone asked. <laughs> Why, of course there are, Nini. Yes, there's... It's our camp. There's our camp? We went over this. Our camp is in the middle of the street. <laughs> if you need to find us, there that's are, where there the There are lots of meats to eat. Yes. Our camp. Our camp. But, but yes, there are plenty of sexy winter solstice songs. I should ask Kring, John, do you have any particular favorites that you would like to hear or just any one that we like? I mean, I'm always partial to, I don't know if I've told you about this, Arnie, there's this um, this quick celebration that happens um, once during the winter solstice where it's called a one horse open sleigh. Mm -hmm. And what happens is um, we bring into town one horse and we openly murder them. Just start right out in the open. We just very you know, sexy. cut them up. It's so, one of the sexiest that, songs sexy I can What's sexy about that? But it turns oh, into this sort of Are you bacchanal, this sort of bloodbath bacchanal where it's kind of like oh. anything goes. Oh, I guess, okay, if there's a song about that, anything that's great. Goes. I was just hoping... That there was like a song like like Pappy wants to shift the shiftness or something. I don't know. Oh, my apologies. I thought you asked for a sexy song. No, by all means, sing Pappy wants to shift the shiftness. We'll do it. It's okay. a real bummer of a song. <laughs> oh, no. okay. No, I would love to hear the horse murder song. You sure? It's real short. We can do it for you. This is Pappy wants to shift the lion salat. Um, Against all odds, someone has requested Pappy wants to shift the shift smith. And he didn't even know it was a thing. He just stumbled upon an actual song. You piece of shift. Piece of shift. Shit, piece of shift. <laughs> On a cold and lonely winter's night, I went walking with candlelight. Hoping to find my patty once again. Walking on the next week, 
Christmas day I came across a field of gray hoping to find my paddy once again but he wasn't there because paddy shifted shift must where did it go paddy shifted shift must nobody the knows the tears i cry won't deliver us cause paddy based on a true story about a tiny child who died in a winter storm. Mm. Sexy. <laughs> it's really not. Oh, okay. But this one is. This one is. Ooh, girl, Ooh. I see you got a horse. <laughs> Let me see if there's something we can do about that horse. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, girl. A nice horse you got there, but let me tell you something, bud. That horse is full of love, but that horse is also full of blood. Oh, if you want to get to my heart and you want to get there today, why don't you and me open sleigh? We got one horse, let's open it and sleigh. Oh, we only got one, one. Horse, let's open it and slay. Oh, yeah, you're gonna slay, slay, slay. I'm making love with you on the inside of a horse today. Because we only got one, one horse, horse open, open and slay. Mm, girl, you know I see you there. And no if ands, or buts. Making love has never felt so good as when you do it in a horse's guts. Cause we only got one, one horse, horse, let's open, open it and slay. Gotta open it and slay and slay. We got one horse, let's open it and slay. We gotta slay, slay, slay. If you got a moose or an elk, that would even be okay. But nothing's better than a one horse, horse open and slay. No, 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 no. Elks or moose. Yes. Nini? Isn't that sexy as hell? I guess so. It's kind of sexy to favorite. be like, I want to be inside really of you, inside of a horse. Mm, inside, inside, double inside. Double inside. One of the sexiest things in Foon is to wake up with a horse head in your bed. Ooh. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Pull back the covers and just see that horse head and just scream in ecstasy. Scream in ecstasy. Beautiful agony. You know, I've never thought about it. There are so many things to do with a dead horse. Oh, yes. Love That's them. That's very true. Paint them. Watch... A mittens game you can in watch their blood. A mittens game in their blood. Yeah. Oh yes. If you murder them. Oh, you can crawl inside of them with twenty of your closest friends, and then kind of scooch into the nearby city that has walled defenses, and then creep out in the middle of the night. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. You and can that's... sell it. You can definitely sell it. You can eat it. You can put it on your wall. I never thought you... about this. This must you be. You could beat the... it. <laughs> you could beat that dead horse if you wanted to. <laughs> Feels like we're there. Should we take a break? <laughs> yeah. Let's take a quick break because, guys, we got to get money from our sponsors. You are a greedy, greedy, greedy business. Man. Piles of such gems. Bum. I'm just saying, I need bigger piles. And we all got to work a little bit harder. I know it's a holiday, but we got to work a little bit harder to increase those piles. Oh, sorry. Mm, I yeah. think we found this year's Yes, bum. sir, Lee, and I think we have two thirds of a journey to take this man on. Mm-hmm. Hello, Hog's Face. I'm a series of bats. You know me. But do you really? This summer, in McShingle Shane Forest, I'm bringing my nine bat show, A Series of Bats, The Story of My Life, to Hog's Face. Come join me for an intimate evening of music, dance, and fluttering around, as you'll learn how I learned to echolocate, because I'm really a series of bats. You know me. I'm a series of bats. But do you really know me? Come see a series of bats upstairs at the Smoldering Widow every Thursday at eight. Four gold pieces. Eight gold pieces for students. This is not Tom Blaine Bellrock.
Tis I, Usador, and I command thee. Go to patreon.com slash magic tavern right now and become a member and get all of our wonderful bonus content. Uh, all right, we're back. What can we do to bring a little bit more money into the tavern to increase my... You have lost the spirit of the holidays. This we so, I demand that you learn some lesson and become a stronger, smarter, more loving man. Your cold-hearted greed what? has for too long been a pall upon this tavern. It's weighing around you like a chain around your neck, what? nodding These... and weaving around your body parts. You've become a little miser. These are the chains I forged in life. I earned them. Ever since we took over the town of Hogsface in a despicable agreement with the Dark Lord, you have become a soulless old miser. Ah, scrooge that. <laughs> what? Nothing. I tried to put some coal on the fire earlier, and you said no. Yeah. Nini. Nini. It is you. You are this year's Hagbum. Chunt, Kring, if you'd like to join us, you may also come along, but we have a duty to fulfill. We have a path that we must walk, and that path now involves your life, Nini. Okay, well, fine. But I could probably fit one apron. What? No, not not that. We not don't hags- need your re-gifted apron instead of putting it into a hag's bum. We shall take you now to your winter solstice pass. Quickly, grab the whisker of my sister Cerulean. Kring, oh. on my back. Chunt, in my mouth. <laughs> Away! <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You don't have to count. 51, 52, 53. Wow. Here we are, Nini. Look, there's you in the past. Nini, we are back on your dimension of Earth. Yeah, that's right. I remember that Christmas that I watched Love Actually on that shitty black and white television. So there's someone next to you, isn't there? Yeah. Who is it? Tell us, who is this, Nini? It's my wife, but this was before she was my wife. Ooh, nice. Super nice. <laughs> I see you laying on the moves real thick there. Congratulations for exiting the field with such a fine companion. I'm sorry I cheated on you, Emma Thompson. <laughs> yes, and see, you laughed at that very poignant moment and see how your wife's face fell. Why? Why, Nini, did you have to make light of such a meaningful moment? Wasn't it clear to you that she was reaching out to say, yes, this is the thing I would like us to agree on, that we never cheat on Emma Thompson. But Azure, could you please not try to teach me a moral lesson when I'm trying to rewatch Love Actually? Christmas is all around us, or so the story goes. I'm not I'm teaching s- anything. This is my sister's domain. This is the past. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's really an- It's all right. Nini, your I traveled so- back in time and undid that moment, so my feelings are not hurt. Nini, take in this moment. Yes, rewatch Love Actually. See that even though it isn't perfectly executed, its heart's in the right place. <laughs> and isn't it sort of against everything we stand for to pick apart something that's basically good? Here's what I want to talk about, though. That gold necklace is the ugliest piece of jewelry what I have ever seen. is that travesty? If I opened a box and I saw that piece of jewelry, I would say, <laughs> Come here, hag. Please come here. I've got something for your bum. But this is how you spent a winter solstice in past. Any feelings or reflections now that you see it again? Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's kind of a shitty movie, but the fact that it's seasonal makes it a little more special. That's right. And the fact that so many of our favorite actors could come together in one place. Don't we just imagine them all being good pals? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love Hugh Jackman and that guy who was... (laughs) (laughs) Yes, and who doesn't love Hugh Jackman? (laughs) Who doesn't love Hugh Jackman? Oh, shit! I figured out the lesson I was supposed to learn. All of this time, I was going back and talking about that time that I watched Love Actually on Christmas, but now that I think about it, it was actually X2, the second X-Men movie that I watched that Christmas. And do you see now that actually X2 is all around us? (laughs) For that is the lesson of the past. Wait, Days of Future Past? No, no, no. No, X2. X2. X2, X2, X2. And now that you have learned this lesson, let us travel. To the present, my domain. Chunt into my mouth. Kring upon my back. Hiya! Arnie upon my whisker. Oh, wow. Ah. 
51, 52. Huh. This time I only got 52. Yes, and they, they come and they go. <laughs> Teeth are like little travelers moving through a mystic river. Oh my god, where are we? Well, don't you know? We're on the other side of the tavern in the room where we just were. And what? there's you over there at the table, and there's us sitting next to the <gasps> table, and there's you, Sador, and Chunt. Do you see? Do you oh learn now? God, I've never walked all the way over to this side of the tavern before. Look at us all over there, being sexy as hell, really bringing it in a huge way. That new shirt really looks good on me. It really does. Get rid of the old one. Thank you, Usador. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that old one. But that is not the lesson, Nini. Nini, come with me. Okay. Over here. Yeah? Open this basement door, the basement? I don't, basement. I don't know if I want to go in the basement. There are again. so many secrets in the basement, Arnold. You must open the door. You must listen to what Azure has to teach you. You think my power was just to show you literally where you were in that one point? What? What would that? What would that do? No, we're going places you can't go. All right. Take me there, Cerulean. No, Azure. What? This Azure. Is, the, I'm going to travel to the past again and undo the fact that you said that, so oh, I okay, don't get okay, my feelings yeah, yeah. hurt again. Okay. Okay. Take me there, Sapphire. No, she is no, dead. Uh, she is dead. Wow. You oh. know what? We're not going oh, to the basement a... no more. <laughs> what? Basement no, journey I need my canceled. from the present. No, we're going somewhere Please. else. Come on, out I the front door. I deserve a We're going out the front door. Here we go. Okay. It's nice out tonight. Oh. Light snowfall. Perfect weather for the winter solstice. It is kind of beautiful outside. Perfect time of year to warm your belly with a bowl of wiso soup. Mmm. Mm, we so thirsty for soup. <laughs> Upon my back, we have to go a little bit ways into the woods, and this is going to take a second if you want to walk. Okay. It's so weird to have seen ourselves in the bar. That hasn't happened since you used your time turner, Isidore. I know. Which we don't really use a lot. We use that one I time. Know. I feel like so many of our problems could have been solved with that time turner. I know, but uh, it just felt like it was a, a little too easy. Yeah, okay. Are you familiar with this rival tavern to your own, you greedy, greedy businessman? The Smoldering Widow? Mm-hmm. Now let's go inside. Have you ever been inside this tavern before? No. Yes. Tigers, this is the furthest we've traveled. <laughs> yeah. Come on inside and you will see three figures sitting around a table, not much unlike yourself. But oh, are we visible to everyone right now? Are we like God's No, 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 no. Oh, no, heavens, no. No, 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 no. no. magic, no. magic, magic. Hell no. Oh, great, magic, great, great. magic, 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 <laughs> magic. Do you see these three figures seated around this this very table in this other yeah. tavern? Not unlike your own. Yeah. Do you see that man sitting there? The one with the shirt? The one with the real bad shirt. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I just wish if I could have anything, it would be a new shirt. But silly me for wanting... I'll just go put my hand in the fire. That man is five years old. The years have been hard to him. Oh, he has not aged well. Should we call him a man if he's five years old? Yes, for yeah. life has made him a man. Ah, the fire's hot, it is. Ah, ah, but I deserve it for wanting a second shirt. Uh, it's wrong for you to want a second shirt, Erna. If you, if you want a second shirt, the only way you're ever going to get it is if you sell your eyes. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Eyes! Eyes for sale! Get some technically <laughs> young, but look real old and watery eyes! Guys, I feel so bad that this five-year-old man is is selling his eyes. Is, maybe could I sell my shirt so I could buy some eyes for him? I mean, that feels like maybe the most complicated way to use your funds to <laughs> yes. solve that problem. Why, why are you making this tricky? Just, Just give him your spare shirt. I mean, I will walk you right up to this lesson if I have to. <laughs> I guess we have to. I guess we just did. Give him your Give spare him your shirt. shirt. Wait, is the shirt corporeal or, or is it still... No, no, no. When no, you go back... Now. Are they just going to see a shirt floating over to her? No, no, no. Magic, not magic, magic. When we magic, go magic, back magic. to magic. the one timeline present, you should walk over and give this young boy your shirt. Because it just feels... Uh, because I, I don't know. Like giving a gift, like giving like a secondhand gift, like should I like buy or sell something? It's the holiday season. There should be some kind of like commerce involved, no, right? No, 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 no. Have you never heard of... Gift getting? What's this? A gift getting. It's a most wonderful thing, you see. Perhaps if someone has given a shirt to you, but why need a second shirt? What will you do with two? Well, if you are not greedy, and if you are a friend, gift again. Gift, gift again. again. 
I only have two feet and I have two hands, which I greet, but I was given a pair of shoes twice. So I took the other pair of shoes, I gave them away, and this I choose to only wear gloves, which is nice. Gift again, gift again. Give a gift you have, but then you gift it to a friend. Gift again, gift again. Now the song is over, it's the end. Gift, gift again. again! Do you see now, Nini? I do. For if you do not, then a terrible future is in store for you. We travel oh, now sure the future, sure the to the future. future. Uh, see, oh, this sorry. is where it really falls oh, apart. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. There's no kind of crapped out. real payoff here. But you can see how that would really pay off. I know. I feel yeah. at that point I'm just really like That's ready to go comes, to the future. Yeah. The yeah. terrible outcome of the choices you make now and where they would lead you and how you could potentially avoid those Ugh. might they're, be a great inspiration. Because they're, they're real bad, Nini. Would you tell to me right now? Like, let's all go around and tell us what we think the worst thing it could possibly be is. That little boy with no eyes starts running around with a knife on accident and stabs everyone. God damn, Cerulean. <laughs> you said worse. I don't, no, don't want to say mine now, guys. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> so really, yeah. Oof. I was just going to say Arnie starts tucking in his new shirt. Oh, what? Oh. Faux pas. No, no, no. No, no, no. How no. gauche, right? Not Super without gauche. a belt and with my, casual pants. My God. Certainly not. Everything is sort of metallic and fluorescent, and uh, Arnold wears suits that are very square. Ew. Ew. Kring, you painted a picture with words. And it was revolting. I think maybe that five-year-old man grows up to be the Dark Lord. <gasps> but aren't we in the present? Oh, wait, where are we? What the, time period are we the in? Present. The present. We're, we're in the on. present? Right. We're on. in the real present. The oh, present. so like what can we do? If something's already happening in the present, it's like... Is there a way for you, Tigers, to show us Foon as if Arnie had never come here? Oh, sure. Uh, yes, we just have to do it at the same time. Yep, hold on, nose to nose. So this would be like, uh, like... All right. All right. Um, this is very interesting. Oh, uh... Welcome to the table. Oh, hello, Usador. I'm glad to be here at the table. How are you doing at the table today? I'm doing fine. Yourself? Do you see them, Nini? These two people that you know so well without you at that very table? Without you there to pick upon, all they can talk about is being at the table. Yeah. There's no one to kind of ask them questions about things that they both already know about. Well, I suppose I should go on my quest. I've been putting it off long enough now. Yeah, you should do that, and I should find love. Let's let's do that. Yeah, and without my podcast, there's no real reason for them to meet and talk to new people. It was nice knowing you, Chunt. I, uh, I'll probably be dead soon. Oh, that would be a bummer to hear. Well, I'll see you later. Come, Chode! <laughs> well, I'll just sit here at this table and relish in the fact that I've... Developed the cure for cancer. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's, that took that's, a turn. That's, that's that tricky. took a turn. Oh, that's tricky. Up oh. until now, I would have said it is a negative that you are, uh, because uh, yeah. Usador seems like pretty sad and Chun okay. seems pretty sad too. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, boy. we can't change the timeline, so we all just have to live with this knowledge. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah that's sorry. That's kind of how it is. Well, now I just feel like a jerk standing here with this five-year-old's eyes in my hand. Why do you, you have the, the eyes? eyes? You bought them? What? Yes, you, you were selling them. Nothing, you traded meaning. the new shirt for the eyes. <laughs> I bought the eyes for like two gold pieces. I he told gave him it was me more. a very fair deal, he did. <laughs> we're over here, little boy. I oh, can't sorry. Ow. Oh. Oh, if only I could hold on to something you use as a stick. Oh, I'll just grab this. Is this a stick? Is this no, a stick? No, that's a knife. Oh, 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 I've been stabbed to death. No, this is a knife. <laughs> Ernie, why are you looking so smug? Someone just got oh, stabbed oh, to death by an eyeless guys, man. Guys, oh, Earth people are loving it in the past, present, and future. Oh, Cerulean, Azure, we must regroup here. It's, we must save Arnie's soul. We must do the thing. That we never thought we could do, that we fills us each with disgust. We must show Arnie the future that, by calling uh, upon Can the Wizard. All right, hold on. Fuck. Tail to tail. Oh, uh, yes. What? Well, this is how, I don't know if you know this, but the way that great blue tigers contact other magical creatures is by. Tail. Oh, hold on, just watch. Tails. Tail, tail, tail. Tail, tail, tail. tail. Tail, tail, tail. They're thumping their tails. We call into the void, into the when, the that that is not, and the that that has not yet been. Wait, don't uh, we have to stop the void? What? We don't... We are, we are. We're just talking about just like 
an absence of space. Yeah, different oh, things. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Things, yeah. Oh, it's okay. I guess in order to enact this plan, we will settle for you. Can the wizard? Yes. Hello. I'm sorry. I was just walking by and I thought I heard my name. Hello, Ken. It's been, well, I would say a while, but that would mean nothing to you. Oh, hello, Sapphire. No, sh- Sapphi- Sapphire is purple. dead, Holy shit. sadly. You and, yes, you and Nini are cut from a similar cloth and both cloths are Thank gross. you. Gross. Reminding us of our dead sister. Ken, uh, I'm sorry. I Sometimes I get confused about what time period I'm in. I must have thought I was in the past. Or maybe the future. Okay, Ken, 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 Ken. why are you covered in soup? <laughs> that is a waste of we so soup. And we so thirsty for soup, Ken. <laughs> Ken, I know you're confused, but these two tigers sitting by my side, whose heads I'm petting simultaneously... <laughs> Are the great blue tigers, Cerulean and Azure. Ah. One of the past, one of the present. And they need your powers to see the future so that we may save the soul of this one Arnie-Nee camp. Oh. Hagbum cannot be complete unless we show him Hagbum future. I see we're doing a classic Hagbum thing. Not Hagsbum, Hagbum. Hagbum, I, that's what I said, oh. I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. Look, you need me to do the future? All right, I'll use my magical power, which is to remember the future from before. Again, don't forget I don't travel through time, except in the way that everyone does by living forward through time all the way around. Unless this exposition is a song, we don't give a shit. Oh, it is! Take it away, (laughs) Lion-O! I'm from the future, but in the way that everyone's from the past, I'm going to do that trick where we all take an apron and shove it up a witch's ass. That hag's bum. I think he's confused. I'm confused. <laughs> Arnie, are you even paying attention to this? Put those eyes down. Put Stop putting them in front of your real eyes. I'm s- sorry. I just uh, got distracted. I smell soup. I love soup. Arnie can, can Arnie. Hey, can. You seem great. Hello. You seem familiar. But wait. Can I show you the future? I'll be at the bar. <laughs> can we just use a time turner, please? Yes, I'm, I'm, I wish I'm going, there to, was... I'm going to go with Kring. <laughs> Why is everyone slowly walking away? Guys, you listen. You smell like soup. You stink of soup. You stink of it. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I've just got a lot of soup on me. Please, don't go. Guys, I'm really about to stick the landing on this thing. <laughs> All right, fine. Fine, we'll stay. Arnold Kneecamp. It's Arnie. I wish there was some way I could show you your future. I wish you could look right in front of you and see your future. But there isn't a way that I can do that. So I'm going to point at this hole in the ground. Ugh. Look at that hole in the ground. What was the point of calling him? <laughs> I, I could have pointed to a hole. Think about it. Think about it. Oh, are you saying he will die? Yes, kid, we all will we die. All That's die. not what we need this more specifics. Are you just implying that he's mortal? He knows he's mortal, Ken. This, this is a scared straight situation. You have to go into details of his death. I miss Sapphire. Uh, Me too. So much. Uh, I have an idea here. Uh, I shall assist Ken. Uh, He has shown Arnold a grave. I shall magically transport Arnold into a grave. What? grave. Arnold is in a grave right now. He's been buried alive. Kring, can I just say? Yes. That was some shit. That was very cool. That's crazy cool. (laughs) Thank you very much. Uh, Should we bring him back now? I mean, No. But yes, I I mean, I just wanted to make sure he really, I mean, it's been so long since we've actually got to enact a future scare. I'm not really, no one does it quite like Sav. I feel like, do, don't we leave him there for a bit, or do you just want to bring him right back? Well, I don't oh, know. I, I'm, I'm confused about which one of them is living, and maybe we'll kill him. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, bring him back. Karath, mom, yath, yath, Ah! Oh, oh, God. That's what will happen to you, and everyone who's mortal. 
Yeah, I don't want to be buried alive. Oh, no, you'll be dead when it happens to you. Oh, that seems better. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sir. Can you get out of the way? I'm, I'm trying to make my way downtown to the market. Whoop, whoop, a test, so, a test, a test. Is it everyone want to listen to the market? To yeah, I'm just going to go downtown to the market unless anybody needs to know, like, you know, the time or, or what, I guess like... What a, day a, is this? Wait, let me go to the window. <laughs> <laughs> I just, this is going to sound you weird. To, you want me to stand here while you go shh, upstairs? Shh, he's going to catch up in any second, To I swear. the window? Up, yeah, I up. just, this is a weird request. Can I talk to you through a window? Um, I, I, I guess so. I'll, I'll wait here if you're going to climb upstairs. Oh, no, I, would you, man? I just don't oh, know. You want me to go upstairs? Jeez. I'll go. Yeah, you're, you, you you're so a guy. You just make a window, please. Uh, Defenestration Tada! Oh, there's a window in front of me. Can you hear me? Yeah. You know, when Usador makes a window, he closes the door. You look real smug. <laughs> but what day is this? So today, today is winter solstice. <gasps> today is winter solstice? I guess. Like, but what day? Last... <laughs> does it have a date? I guess I've never asked this question before. You, young lad, did days on this world have numbers attached to them? Are you talking to me or to the man you're already talking to, the other boy? Any young lad. Are you talking to me? Oh, are you talking to me? All of you. What day is today? Why, well, today is the day of our choir recital. One, two, three. Hum, 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 hum. Hum, 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 hum. Hum, 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 hum. Well, we're a choir. A choir of lads. We're in a choir taste. And this is not a fad. No, it's not a fad, no. It's a choir of lads, so... An acquired choir, you won't like us at first. When first you hear our choir, you will think we are, are the, the worst. worst! And we like to sing, cause that is our biz. But we'll gladly tell you what day it is. It's Hagbum Day! Hag it's Hagbum Day! That's what day it is, mister. I guess it is Hagbum Day. Well, here, each of you, take a coin. Oh, you threw an eye at me. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's I thought there was a coin. That was the wrong hand. Oh, my God. It's, oh, my God. It's, what well, is this? Well, here, each of you take a coin, and two of you can have an eye if you want. Does any of you want an eye? Oh, I do. Yeah, I eat my uncle's fish eyes. Give me one. Well, okay. what about the little man with no eyes? Oh, yeah, I don't want to give him back the same gift he gave me. You know what I mean? How about, do any of you have body parts that you'd be willing to give to that boy? Like in exchange? <laughs> Why are we getting market? broke into this? <laughs> anyway, all of you buy a turkey or something or a chicken. Can I ask you something, mister? Yeah? Just by the way you look right now and the way your shirt is ruined, were you buried alive? I was. Oh, my God. I was. It oh was terrifying. Goodness. I got to go. What do you want me to do with these coins you tossed me? Go buy something. Shoo, shoo, what? shoo. Like the largest goose in the window? The one as big as me? Yeah. It's the one that killed my dad. Oh. I'll buy it and I'll bury it. Guys, I I'm so sorry. Chunt, Usador, Azure, Cerulean, Can. When you said Azure and Cerulean, you made a general wave of your hand. Point to which each one, one of which us one is, is which? What is my, let's start with me. You're the one that is. I think you know this answer from A to Z. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are an alphabet. You're Azure, right? Yes. And you're Cerulean. Boom. Very good. Very good, Nini. Oh. And maybe, Should we was just that the lesson that? I was supposed to learn? I don't know at this point. Maybe it'll have to do, but here's what I'll say. We may not be able to show you the future, and Ken may only be able to tell you about it and point at holes. And but may be covered in soup, and we so thirsty for soup. But I think at the end of the day, we can't show you the future, but you can imagine the future, and you could look in a mirror at yourself. Just look at that man and decide, I should make a change. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking about that man in that mirror. Just look at him, Nini. Sometimes, if you want to be free, Look into the mirror, see the mirror, Nini, Shimon. Sometimes take your own life huh? and think about your choices, and for once remember your wife. 
because I'm looking at the Nini in the mirror. I'm asking him to make a change. Nini, I'm looking at the Nini in the mirror. If you want to make Foon a better place, take a look at yourself and, and just make a change. What do you see, Nini? Is there anything you want to say? Well, you know what? I see a guy that probably should change some things in his life. But I also see a guy that I really like. But great. But that's 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 okay. That's good. I mean, you guys seem really invested in changing successful businessmen, but is it possible that you are the ones that have been wrong this whole time? I mean, if these successful businessmen were so successful... Oh, Ugh. oh what a terrible and banal and evil and easy definition of the word success, Nini. So, yes, they might all... They might have gold. They might have tassely hats in which to sleep. They might have drapes around their bed in addition to drapes in front of their windows, which is honestly too many drapes. But do they have love? Actually, do they have love? Actually, we know what success is supposed to be. But, but do, do they, they have love? love? Actually, uh, it's actually X2. X2 really is all around us. Yeah. Yes. yes it is. Be the be best X2 inside of you. Learn from Hugh Jackman. Arnie, I, I, I don't think I've ever had the courage to say this before, but I X2 you. Oh. 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 X2, Brute. <laughs> what? You fucking... For too long now, your life has been blighted. Learn those lessons from X-Men United. Consider your life and all you possess. And don't let that be your measure of success. We have love, actually. Do you have love? Actually, is there a part inside your heart that does need a switch? Then bear down hard like a juggernaut, bitch. Do you have love? Actually, do you have love? Do you have love? Do you have love? Actually. Well, uh, well, you set off fireworks, Arnie, like your jubilee. <laughs> and don't forget, you are a father, you're a pa -nee, nee You gotta have love. Love. Love, actually. X2 Brute. I'll get love. in on that. Uh. Actually. I think I see. I mean, thank you, both of you, for teaching me an important lesson that made complete chronological and literal sense. Good. We'll take it, and let's leave before there are any cracks in this, brother. Goodbye, great blue tigers. And goodbye, bye, you. And Goodbye, Chunt. And goodbye, Nini. Brother, oh. here I come onto your shoulders. Ha! Our trench goat upon us. Lion Salat, let us sing our exant song. Bye 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 bye
how fortunate and blessed we were to have them in our lives on this glorious album. I mean, I guess while they were here, we should ask them to help us defeat the Void or the Dark Lord or any oh, of the kind of important yeah, shit. stuff, right. you know? Shit, shit, shit. But yeah. you're less of a greedy bastard Yeah, now. it's true. I'm glad that that uh, character trait of mine that just kind of swooped in <laughs> has swooped out just as quickly. Just like the Chris Must spirit. Yeah. Well, guys, you know what? I love you. Well, we love you too, Arnold. Actually, we do. Yeah. Have a very happy holiday. You as well. Happy bronze. Let's eat some bronze. And happy Annika, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, pizza, pizza skull. skull. We never talk about how many people are usually just hovering over us in the tavern. Anyway, Ken, get the fuck away from me. Why are you standing there? <laughs> Could you determine who sings all the time, and who either panics or tries to speak sing or rather addle their way out of trouble? Use it or the wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adel Rafai. The two remaining Great Blue Tigers were played by Jessica McKenna and Zach Reno from the Earwolf podcast Off Book, the Improvised Musical. They improvise a full musical each week. Look for their new book, Safe and Friendly Raps for the Workplace, on shelves in time for Christmas. Including such pieces as Hitting Reply All Makes Me Cry, Y'all, and the meeting, the meeting. My private time is fleeting, my heart is beating, the new CEO, I'm greeting, life depleting at the meeting, and others. Launcelot, the musical accompanist, was played by Greg Smith. Tom the actor was played by Steve Waltine. I know you don't have the copy there in front of you, but after a decade of friendship, Arnie still doesn't know how to spell Steve's last name. There's some Gift of the Magi ironic tragedy for you. Special thanks to Josh Richmond. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Ryan DeGiorgi, and Evan Jakover. This episode edited by Garrett Schultz. We're taking next Monday off because it's New Year's Day when all the clocks in the space bunker become sentient and I have to fight them off, as usual. So no episode next week while I battle for my life, but we'll be back the week after that. I plan to use the downtime to finally rectify Steamboat Captain Craig, but in the meantime, take it away, Cap. Well, thank you kindly, Professor. As always, the Magic Tavern theme music is by Andy Poland, logo by Adler LeBon, additional audio effects by Jason Knox, production assistance by Garrett Schultz. If you happen to get one of those steam-powered Amazon Echo contraptions under your Christmas tree, don't forget to check out Magic Tavern Adventure. It's an interactive episode of the podcast designed specifically for the Echo, where you get to choose what happens to our favorite rabble-rousers. Visit us at hellofromthemagictavern.com or on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks to the Chicago Podcast Co-op, and happy holidays from Earwolf. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.